The South African Post Office has unveiled a new postage stamp to mark the 100th birthday of anti-apartheid activist Helen Suzman. The date was also marked with a public lecture delivered by former President Halema Motlante in Johannesburg. A struggle not typical for the white South Africans of her time, Helen Suzman fought apartheid from within the National Assembly as an MP during a time when only whites could be elected, she would have been 100 years old on 7 November 2017, and this stamp will keep her memory alive. She used the platform to effectively raise the objections to the human actions of government, the Shabville massacre, the uh, state of emergencies, the uprisings of Soweto, and so on. She passed away in 2008 at the age of 91 during the tenure of former president Halema Motlante. When the name Helen Suzman is invoked, a common image emerges, the silhouette of a woman standing as a lone anti-apartheid voice in parliament for 13 years, committed to intentionally and strategically campaigning against the dehumanizing system of apartheid. There is a certain attitude to critiques of the South African present that is fundamentally undemocratic in nature, primarily located in corridors of power, across sectors, its ethos goes against the idea of informed discourse that is central to Suzman's legacy. Within this frame of thinking, challenges to the use and abuse of power are viewed as unpatriotic acts. She is likened to Bram Fischer and Ahmed Kathrada, born privileged by race, but chose to fight for equality. Thank you for a profound and brilliant speech. It wonderfully linked my mother's ideals and values to today's situation. Helen Suzman's was the only anti-apartheid voice in a white National Assembly of her time. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Johannesburg.